You want to get treated differently in business. You need to set your rules of engagement. Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Full disclosure, it is afternoon. I tried recording this morning and the camera shut itself. So you're getting the afternoon version of myself with a different background. So I had a meeting with our sales team yesterday and they were talking about a client that we deal with at Railways who consistently has reasons why they can't pay the bill or they haven't paid the bill. And it's not because the business is in financial problems. It's just there's shit from a administrative standpoint, they've got um, really large business, offshore accounts, just, you know, it doesn't matter to them, right? So we're just, our invoices just get processed when they get processed and if we don't meet the exact guidelines that they expect around how the invoices get handled, then we don't get paid and we have to kind of argue for it. And to be honest, if you really looked at it, it's probably not worth dealing with them at all, but I don't want to look at it like that. Um, you know, I think they spend maybe forty thousand dollars a year with us, and you know, in a in a world where I'm trying to grow a business, they don't really fit outside of the rules of engagement for us, so we're fine. So I said to the team, if you want them to act differently, change the rules of uh, rules of engagement. Um, you know, what's the problem? Like, are oh, they not paying on time? All right, cool. Well, then we'll, we'll set very strict stop credit, and then you know, if they don't meet certain expectations, then we'll charge fees for x y and z and you know as long as it's inside our terms and conditions and the laws of our country then that's fine um and i just think that a lot of times that uh, business businesses business people will shy away from that because it doesn't kind of meet the societal expectations of what's normal or what's accepted or it doesn't meet the standard business rules and it's in, re in my mind it's really important that you kind of ignore those rules and live your life because you're the person if you're the business owner or the manager or you know even if you're the salesperson you have to live with the way that you get treated right and i have empowered my team to walk away from people that treat them like shit because i don't want them to feel anxious or nervous or depressed or sad about coming to work i want them to look forward to coming to work so hence no dicks allowed now in this situation it's probably more an administrative change but it is in australia your business to do with as you please and as long as you're meeting the rules of the country and the taxation system then you can do whatever you want you don't have to deal with people you don't want to deal with it's not a case that the customer is always right like some customers are wrong and it's really more a case that the right customer is always right and so we will change the rules around we deal with change the rules around how we deal with this company and then they will choose to continue dealing with us or they won't and if they choose to continue dealing with us it'll be on our terms and we're not being it's not none of this is kind of ridiculously out of the ordinary it's just all we want to do is make sure that when we sell you something that we get paid for it on time you know we're doing like the contract is we buy you buy stuff from us we hold it we deliver it we send you an invoice and you pay it like if, if you're not meeting that contract then we're gonna have to change the way that contract gets handled you might be wondering what i mean around that so um we might say for example increase their pricing so that if they don't pay us there's enough margin to cover the the pain in the arsonist it's not a word obviously um, or we start charging them monthly fees if they you know if their debt goes out of terms uh, or we just we, we're not super great at stop credit but you know if you go past terms then you just can't buy from us and then I think sometimes that'll put it's, it's hard because it puts pressure on my sales team because the people that are trying to buy the materials it's not their fault that we haven't been paid they're just trying to do a job but it'll make it awkward for them because they'll be like what do you mean we can't buy anything like well your accounts department haven't paid so we're not going to give you any more stuff then hopefully that creates enough pressure internally that they push that concern up the chain and then we get paid and we get treated with more respect because they're the new rules of engagement and if you are good at what you do and desirable to deal with by changing those rules of engagement you will find that people will change their behavior to continue dealing with you so yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm being outrageous. Anyway, be kind to each other. As I say, always make sure you're kind to yourself and I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.